We love emails and girls love us. Now let me check my email cause it's gathering dust. Greetings from a kindred soul. Kindred soul? Sound like a religious metal band. You know, to kind of try and offset their religiousness with evil fonts and drippy graphics. Love is one. Now that all these comic books are being made into movies, will we see a strong bad man movie? How will it be different from the comic? Peace out, clan. No way, clan. I've seen what they do to comic books in those movies, and it is not pretty. What you should be asking is, in what one or two small ways will it be the same as the comic? They shouldn't even call them comic book movies. They should call them the name of a comic book movies. Cause that's usually the only thing they get right. Watch as I throw cannon to the wind and butcher our favorite muscled up strong band in that old fashioned Hollywood way. First, let's go straight for the costume in a move I like to call Leather Quest 2000. People may buy that our character has radioactive powers or is from another planet, but a colorful spandex costume? Are you crazy? No audience will accept that. Nope, it's one color head to toe leather for our hero. It just makes practical sense for someone who's going to be jumping off rooftops and doing a bunch of martial arts all the time. Oh, and then the mask. No actor's gonna let you put a mask over their beautiful face for an entire movie. Well, not enough. Little more. There! Now comes the important part of comic book movie pre-production called screwing up the casting. Instead of casting someone appropriate in the role, like Lan Handermanic, that, that's not a real actor or anything, I just like the sound of Lan Handermanic is strong bad man. No, instead they cast someone totally inappropriate like Blind Strong Badman! Shut up, you! Let's hear your best! Shiny, get me a Danish! Shiny, throw me that donut! Perfect, you're hired! Once the main character is totally ruined, it's time to move on to the supporting cast. Pick one character to be entirely CG rendered when makeup, puppets, or models would clearly be way more convincing. In this case, let's pick the cheat. Why make a really cool costume that we can shoot and light well when we can spend way more money getting someone to make a boneless, dead-eyed, constantly wiggling CG monstrosity? That's what's gonna make me believe in your digital pile when it's flopping around on the silver screen. Then you just write down all the best story elements from the comics on some note cards, throw them up in the air, and randomly pick like, Ten of them to paste willy-nilly into a paper-thin plot with more holes in it than Halle Berry's Catwoman costume. Now quick, rush into DVD before people realize it totally sucks! And don't forget the horrible video game version that tries to undo some of the damage you've done to the source material. Hurry! Phew! Dodged a bullet there. We almost made a good comic book movie. This summer, pre-out!